Have you ever wondered how much our modern world is influenced by ancient classical art? From the striking sculptures that grace our museums to the architectural marvels that punctuate our cityscapes, the echoes of classical art are all around us. Think of the iconic Parthenon or the captivating Venus de Milo. These masterpieces, born thousands of years ago, still shape our aesthetic sensibilities today. To understand this, we need to travel back in time to the birthplace of classical art, ancient Greece. The 5th century BC in ancient Greece was a pivotal point in the history of art. It was during this period that we saw the birth of classical art, an era where artists started to shift their focus towards capturing the beauty, form and perfection of the human body. This was a leap from the rigid and stylized art of earlier periods. Artists began to breathe life into their creations, imbuing them with a sense of movement and dynamism that had not been seen before. Marble and bronze became the materials of choice, their durability and flexibility allowing artists to push the boundaries of what was possible. The statues and sculptures crafted during this time were not just mere representations, they were lifelike, filled with a sense of grace and poise that made them almost seem real. This fascination with realism and the human form set the stage for the evolution of art in the Hellenistic period. With the death of Alexander the Great in 323 BC, art took a dramatic and emotional turn. This marked the dawn of the Hellenistic period, where art began to display a depth of emotion and expressiveness unlike anything seen before. Artists moved away from the idealized representations of the classical period, choosing instead to portray the human experience in all its raw and dramatic intensity. Take for instance the Leo Kuhn group, an incredibly detailed sculpture of a priest and his sons locked in a mortal struggle with sea serpents. Or consider the winged victory of Samothrace, a sculpture that captures the very essence of dynamic movement and triumphant victory. Each piece tells a vivid story, stirring deep emotions and inviting the viewer to share in the experience. These Hellenistic masterpieces were more than just works of art. They were expressions of life itself, filled with drama, passion, and the full spectrum of human emotion. The Romans, captivated by the beauty of Greek art, would adapt and expand upon it, preserving it for future generations. The Romans, while conquerors, were also great admirers of Greek art. Their fascination led to an era defined by the adaptation and expansion of Greek artistic principles. Roman art, though steeped in Greek influence, brought its own unique contributions to the table, it introduced the world to detailed busts that captured the likeness and character of their subjects, frescoes that adorned the walls of grand villas and public baths, and intricate mosaics that told stories of Roman life and mythology. But perhaps one of the most significant contributions of Roman art was its role in the preservation of Greek art. The Romans were meticulous copyists, recreating countless Greek sculptures and artworks. These copies often the only surviving examples of the original Greek masterpieces, have allowed us to appreciate the brilliance of Greek artistry through the lens of Roman admiration, and so, the legacy of the Romans extends beyond their own creations. The techniques and innovations of these ancient societies still resonate in the art world today. Classical art has not only survived but thrived, influencing generations of artists. From the Renaissance to modern times, the echoes of classical art continue to resound. The Renaissance, a period of cultural rebirth, saw artists like Michelangelo and da Vinci drawing inspiration from the idealized human form of classical sculptures. Their works, in turn, became timeless masterpieces, shaping the course of art history. Even today, the influence of classical art remains undiminished. Contemporary art forms, from abstract painting to minimalist sculpture, owe their roots to the classical emphasis on balance and proportion. The contrapposto stance, once a Greek innovation, is now a staple in figure drawing classes worldwide, and it's not just the fine arts. Architecture, too, carries the legacy of classical art. The grandeur of the Parthenon lives on in the columns and pediments of neoclassical buildings, from the US Capitol to the British Museum. But perhaps the most profound impact of classical art is in the realm of popular media. The heroic narratives of Greek mythology have found new life in blockbuster films and best-selling novels. These stories, told through the lens of modern sensibilities, 
reflect the timeless themes of love, courage, and sacrifice that classical art so eloquently expressed. So the next time you enjoy a piece of modern art or marvel at a grand architectural structure, remember the enduring beauty and significance of ancient classical art.